and him. Hey, I go by the name of the Nepoi KMG, and we are the conversation with Stanley and Kamu. Unfortunately, Kamu is not going to be out here with us. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in the conversation, we've got a special guest, and I mean special guests. Papsito. Yo! <laughs> Good to see you, my brother. Ah, no, no, no. What's up? Ah, come on, artist. Barry, 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 when a best uh, Perry hip hop, best rap artist, best uh, vernacular hip hop artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kira was just a lot of great. Yeah, eh, Kila Gaza Maragam Honu. Otherwise, how, how, how are you? First of all, how are you? How are you feeling? Yeah, no, man. Uh, sharp. You know, it's been a tough year. COVID. Mm -hmm. um, everyone has been affected. Have, has been done a great deal. But you know, we we are okay. We are okay. We're not sharp. No, I'm surviving. This is all good. This is all good. Yeah. So, so tell me about you, my man. Where are you from? And when did we start this rapping career? Yeah. So, where am I from? Kichwa. Actually, I was born in mm -hmm. um, and then I later moved to Moluwa Homo. Um, and then, yeah, um, I spent my time, I grew up in a rural area, at Moluwa Homo, my high school, some of my primary Moluwa Homo. Mm. And then, Kitomile, the music career officially, Kili Joe's, got 2010. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, campus. So yeah. the time we mo mo guy nosa nosa rap. Oh, we no rap, mo rap pila mo dikonyan. Hey, guys, we rap mo la. We no gonna rap so that we. Do you record that? Ah, you mean that's a record? Hey, we no gonna rap mo dikonyan. We no gonna we no gonna rap on our machine. Kola, no we chokolo. What's that thing? We no gonna rap. Ah, we no so so no so shut up. I was born in 2007. I was in competition. In 2007, I was in the competition. 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 I was in the so, we are going to come and represent us. Sure. So, I remember we were at Tasalala. So, I went there to compete. Oh, you can win the prize for the whole branch of the university. But, you know, I was like, I'm going to run to the university. It's real. And you, I've read some of the articles about you. You are also an academic. It's any vet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hey, it's an event from 20, well, 20, 2010 mm -hmm. uh, up until 2018. Uh, we're going to be the engineering. So I graduated with, a, with, a, with an honors degree in the engineering. Uh -huh. And then I went back again in 2018 for master's. Yeah, management in, in entrepreneurship and new venture creation. Oh, okay. So you're done also with that one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and I think Nick, this year I might be going to Stellenbosch for for another master's. Hey. Yeah, in engineering for data, data science. You're a busy man. Ah, I'm a young girl. I'm a young girl. I'm a young girl. I'm a music? Ah, our music will hope. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we're going to talk about uh, uh, the academics later. Yeah. Let's, let's start with music. Yeah. Do you have any album, any EPs? Yo, you'll be surprised. Uh, the last time we released a mixtape project, Lily mm. Rain in Popo 2, Yawalo Vashimani, Mashalela, Rusono. No, no, it was last year. So it was in 2016. I think sure. I have about five years I haven't released any project. We can check. We can check. We can check. We can check. What year? Yeah. And it's very unfortunate because you've mentioned accolades. Mm -hmm. um, but you can't have a situation where I only release one or two songs in a year, but I still manage to collect those accolades that was paid you at all. Yeah. So yeah. it shows that uh, there's, there's something that we're not doing. There isn't a lot of content. Because if it was a competitive market, a single or two wouldn't necessarily yeah, cut it. It wouldn't be year. enough. Exactly. Exact, yeah. So mm -hmm. now, um, releasing one single and then still having a, uh, some some level of dominance over others shows that we lack 
competition mm. right yeah so that's why that's mm. why sometimes i i go there i tell the guys that we need to start working hard we need to start doing this and this and that yeah, mm. yeah. now the other thing that i want to ask what is the difference between pedi rap and pedi rap wave yeah so <coughs> because i, I you, you said you are a pedi you are a king of pedi rap wave yeah in fact i said i was i'm, I'm the king of pedi rap i mean which is something that i pronounced as early as 2011 i think Mm -hmm. So if you listen to my old music, um, I've been saying I'm the king of paid rap, right? Mm. Uh, because at the time I didn't feel there was anyone who was rapping the way I was rapping, right? Mm -hmm. So, and that has been going for a long time. I always believed, um, and it, is, it has to do with the paid lexicon, like mm -hmm. the, the use of the paid words in the rap. Yeah. That's why I pronounce myself the paid rap, because like, you, you can't say, going up the king of pedi rap or a paga man josan lo exe daso exe machita blomile on first time yeah like it, it has to be the pure language exactly yeah and then the pedi rap wave i'm referring to everyone now starting to to understand that there's something called pedi rap right like mm -hmm. like you know like my piano was always there right mm -hmm. and then who comes uh, and what what they created the wave meaning they created the hype so the pedi rap wave is the hype that i'm referring to which you are the king of. Yes, I'm saying I created that, which is true. Yeah, but but, but one of the status you said, um, I just want to let you know, uh, Sopra is not a diss song, and I did not create Pedi Rap. Yes, I didn't create Pedi Rap. You did not create a Pedi no. Rap? No. There's a difference between the Pedi Rap Yeah, oh, I created a Pedi Rap wave, the Pedi Rap hype. So you, can't, you cannot say or when I are a, a, a king of Pedi Rap. No, 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 no. I can say, uh, remember... To, 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 to say that you are the king. So if someone is the king of Rampasele, for instance, mm. it doesn't mean he created this land of Rampasele. So mm. he found he might have found people more Rampasele and then conquered them and became the king. So there were people who started Pedi Rep in yeah. its nascent stages. Mm. So early, early, early on, you mm. had a couple of guys, right? Mm. Then I came, then I got here waving here. You know, so I went to the Satmas, you know, I started featuring people mm. like what I find and so people on. started talking about it. And then people started talking about yeah. it, you know. So uh, you started having young boys saying, Okay, I think I'm gonna pagas pay. So Babzito did it. Mm -hmm. Babzito took it to T V. <laughs> Babzito did this. So sure. that's what I'm referring to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I saw Kima Oskira posted this other guy Barke uh yeah. RK the king of um Pedi Rap. Look, Mukaptene has been calling himself that. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even one of the songs, I know yeah, that you were saying. Yes, that. and which is fine because it's nice for competition. Mm -hmm. And Mukaptene, I think, when when Oskido posted that, Mukaptene naliko naliko metro of Mubadi. I want to show you where Saturday, but Parisha naga wa ya rap city, rap activity, rap activity. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Rap activity jam. Ibalim wo rap activity jam. Which is good for him because I think at his level, but now I'm not at that level. I mean, I'm doing music professionally. But you still, you still, you still do a rap, working a diss song, so what do you say? No, 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 no. I said this. Yes, sopra. State of what, what? Yeah, state of what? Ah, that's a diss. Yes, get this, get this, Jema. You are responding to K. I said King Solomon. King Solomon, even like King Solomon, because we like the video too. Can I so far one this one? One who can not see this into it. What about this song? Because we like this song more fast. What this we do? We like a lot of street. No, these are ricks. This we do all this. More like you know what? I'm a real hard on you. Like you. Ah, no, 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 no. How did he go hard on me? That guy, King Solomon, who carry carry question until I look at him more. Day day, very guy. No cool. <laughs> yeah, the one that said to me, i but now I'm show you a new one. Come on, come on, come on, But before we even get to the whole thing of, okay, yeah. of, 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 of rap, mm -hmm, I, can, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to ask, or where does this come through? Yeah. Where you said you'd never have Malibo on what if it wasn't for Pabzid. Okay, so maybe let me start. That's where the, the beef started. No, 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 no. That's not why the... Even it was not a beef. It was just... Um, uh -huh. I was just trying to, to show people that 
King Solomon used to call himself King Solomon. Mostly he raps cast for Wangusha. If you listen to his music, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So his change of name actually meant that he actually wants to appeal to the more paid market, right? Mm-hmm. And for him to do that, that whole thing your rapper for was frustrating him because it was not getting him anywhere. So he sat down somewhere and is like, yo, Babzito can actually do this thing as paid and it can work. And then somebody advised him and said, hey, Jenshali, no, we want. Because, I mean, I have Intel. Like, we talk about the music industry. We talk. So so it's not an assumption, that one? No, it's not an assumption. It's, it's something fact. that you heard from someone. Because yes, it's a fact. Because, oh, there are that video, someone even asked to say, oh, Ray, um, did he come through to say he changed the name because of you? No, 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 no. He didn't come through, but I know that uh, uh, somebody relayed the information before he even did it. And I can't mention because I, compro- I don't want to compromise. It's niche. I don't want to compromise. <laughs> you must check people. your psyche, Louis King Solomon. Ah, you must check your psyche. I can't remember. Also, I can't get research. So I'm, I'm, mm. I've got my ears on the ground. I always know who's doing what, who's doing whatever, and what, what, you know. And I'm happy for them. Like, it's actually a good thing. You must go ahead. Because remember, Nabuzu was in Twiggy and Gor paid rapid very successful. Mm-hmm. Whether Idia King Watu or Idia Ki Malibu, what I don't care as long as it's successful. But you want them to respect the fact that when they are a king of this paid rap, no, wave. I, they just have to acknowledge the fact that I created the wave. You know, there's nothing, there's no harm. You know, you have to always respect the people who would you still respect them if they call themselves a king of paid rap? I won't have a problem with it. You won't because have- you know what, it's good. It's good for the competition. Mm-hmm. Now, like, like when everyone says, because you know, heavy is the head that wears the crown, mm-hmm. right? Once you start saying that you are the king of petty rap, it means it comes with a certain level of responsibility. With mm-hmm. power comes responsibility. It means you're putting yourself in a position of power, and mm-hmm. you must be responsible. What do I mean by being responsible? It means you must represent that culture, that subgenre, yeah, hip hop, or petty rap. You must represent it to like to the highest possible level do you feel like you you're representing the petty rap wave considering the fact that you release one song a year yeah well musically i am probably in terms of the frequency of releasing music maybe i'm not doing it very mm-hmm. well i can accede to that but but when it comes to the music itself i believe that i am if you listen to mukibelo for instance mm-hmm. it doesn't get any bigger than that yeah i mean Kiki, bah, even the working I mean, in one, one of your posts, you said you have 200 songs and 80% of them they're in English. Yes, yes, that's true because it's very difficult to Malaga's mm. I find it hard, very, very hard. You know, I was I was a bit lucky because from school, good language I was paid so no grab with distinction. I used to actually write, I used sure. to write so much the poem and stuff like that, cause paid, but I know it's very hard, and the reason why. I don't put out so much music. There's a reason behind it, and it's a mm. business decision. Sure. It's not that for me, I'm doing music. I'm doing music as a hobby, but as a business. So, like, I'm practicing whatever I learn in business, in music, mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. So, so I don't believe in overcrowding the market. Mm. So that's 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 just how I approach it. You know, I believe that music is very sacred, and what the kind of music that I do, people need time to digest it. Do, do you feel the pressure of Malibu and King Solomon? No, no, not at all, not at all. Because if you look at us, we are actually very incom- incomparable. You know, like what King Solomon? King Solomon is like a hardcore rapper. Like he, yeah, he's nice. That yeah, guy. like what what he, boom, boom, choo, 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 you know, underground, underground kind of, kind of mm. vibe. You know, which is good, right? Mm-hmm. It's just I don't think I don't. It's just that I don't think he knows himself. Because you need to understand who you are. If you're a Pumpep rapper, like King Solomon, you you need to stick to that lane. Because Jaraki knows that he sticks to that very small market. Yeah, Pumpep, yeah, hardcore hip hop, right? Mm-hmm. What I do, it's a very lighter version of Jarakis. of of, of hip hop, of hardcore hip hop. Mm-hmm. I used to be that. I used to rap like that. Mm-hmm. But then I know that music doesn't really sell. So you say you are a, a Drake of petty rap? 
Uh, maybe. <laughs> 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 and King Solomon is, is the Jarakis. Yeah, maybe the Jarakis. And I think he should be happy because, like, if he really wants to appeal as a dope rapper, Jarakis is dope, you know. And like, Malibu? Malibu. Malibu understands. You see, the, the, the thing about Malibu, what distinguishes him from, from, from King Solomon, is that Malibu does very beautiful commercial music. Mm. It's very light. He's got a nice flow. He's got. He, He's doing music for radio, yeah. And Malibu are the kind of people we need to actually make baby rap to blow in the whole country. So I, 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 I appreciate it. So, so why, why, why were you going hard on him when you when you went on your DM and called you not to mention his name? Yeah, but I never responded to him. I never responded to those DMs or anything. Yeah, was, but you said on that address, I get you spoken to him. Yeah, in a don't mention my name. Or I don't know the DM, but as far as I heard you say, you said, Oh, but I or no, don't mention my name on the post. It was after the post, there, were, there would not be Malibu and Ken Solomon if it wasn't for you. Yeah, but Malibu must not be a CC. So, hip hop, for instance, yeah. you, can't, you can't play in the hip hop space or don't mention my name, right? Like if 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 King Solomon goes out there and say, "Yeah, Pablo, do your work," which I, I hear a lot of people like a lot of young rappers, they make these songs, what what, Pablo, do your work, what what, Pablo, do for sake, all those things. So I just like go to give us to go for my lady DM, don't mention my name. It's hip hop. That's the culture. There's name dropping. It's always gonna happen. So you need to take it. You need to have a thick skin. Otherwise, if you can't stand the heat, get the hell out of the kitchen. Nah, nah, it's not mess. I don't think it's, it's, it's always the case that I, I, I would address you to say, you know what, don't mention my name. You can do whatever that you can do, but don't mention my name. But it's hip hop. Is it like that? Yeah, it's hip hop. I didn't mention his name talking about Guava or the Perikis. No, no, but you said, you said if it wasn't for you, there would not be Malibu and that guy. Which is true. If it wasn't for Double HP, for instance, right? There wouldn't be us. Because those guys paved the way. They made it. They but don't you think? Don't you think Malibu and King Solomon they were inspired by uh, Mukabdin? Mukabdin who was inspired by the ruling. He, he was the king. Uh, he said he's the king of 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 that thing. Papi, you don't inspire of, people by of, saying you are a king. You must. Do but something. he was nice. He was the first to come through. Was, what did he they, do? They, they, they were the one that created the whole thing of petty rap. What? What is it? Nope, Mukabdin even his. I don't even know his answer. I go with Even it. <laughs> Look, so would, you say, like would you say Malibu and King Solomon they are inspired by Pabzito? Uh, King Solomon has been rapping for some time, right? Mm -hmm. But I would say his his shift from what he's been doing to more of change. when did he change? Mato. Mm. Oh, last year. I got to go last year or something. Sure and you have been in the game for how long? Man, hey. I've been around like think for ten years. Yeah. So in that ten years, you haven't inspired him. You only inspired him now. How um, long is the wave? Well, well, the wave has the wave. If I really track it properly, mm -hmm. it's been going on for about three, four years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three, four, five years somewhere there. Just starting from Uma twenty fifteen up until this point. So you saying in that four, five years, he was not inspired, and he's only got inspired. Uh, maybe he was. I'm actually going to try to have a conversation with him just to you find should. out as to why he changed. And yeah. is it true that you're the one that inspired him? I'm no, I mean, if, if he doesn't have ego, I'm, I'm sure. He <laughs> <laughs> but maybe if he's A lot of people, in fact, they say, why not you are the one that has ego? I mean, if, look, um, so this is what happens in the world, right? Mm -hmm. I think people, people, people generally, I would say people generally, we are not. Mm -hmm. We're not very much brave as people, right? And we are scared to speak the facts. Mm. So when you speak the facts, people think that you're arrogant. But mm. I wouldn't say something without backing it. Because mm -hmm. arrogance is when you say something and you cannot back it up. Mm. If I say something, I'm going to back it up. I'm the most accomplished baby rap, commercially speaking, in the music industry. Mm -hmm. I've got more accolades than them. I've made more money out of my music than them. Mm. So... I mean, you, you understand. So if I say how, that, yeah. How, sorry, how do you make how do you make money? If you is it through the awards, through airplay? So it's through awards, it's through performances, it's through airplays, it's oh. through um, 
synchronization. Like, you know, I've already gotten two songs on Rhythm City by Shima yeah, and Kibel. Uh -huh. you, you understand? So, yeah. so those things help you to make money as a mm. musician. I've sold, I've sold a lot of CDs on the streets myself. I was in Josie selling streets from, 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 from Rose Bank to Melrose Arch to Pretoria. All those places I've been selling hardcore CDs. And actually, my, I started this whole thing in Jove. So, so looking at what we have done, what you have accomplished, all this success that you've made, do you think it's worth it to even compare yourself to the people that just came through now? I'm not to even put myself. Your, your name there, like trying to, de uh, to to respond to them, diss them. Look, it's like someone is like it's like DJ's boo trying to uh, come to me, like and talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. It depends on how how DJ's boo looks at it. <laughs> So to me, the way I look at it is, I, I have goals, right, within mm -hmm. the music space. Um, my, I don't think, I, I think, I don't think personally, I still want to be like the biggest rapper, right? Mm. My goal has shifted. Um, I want to help the rap really tap into mainstream. mainstream. Uh -huh. yeah. And how do you do that? You can create a conversation. Mm. So when I go there and say there wouldn't be a Malibu or a King Solomon, I'm, I'm actually indirectly plucking them. Because there's, there's a guy who follows me who never knows us, who never knew about them. But don't you think it's risky for your name? How? I mean, like, if, if you're this big and there's this new cats that are coming through mm -hmm. with this small and a wave, new mm -hmm. fans and everything, mm -hmm. and when are you out here going on them? Don't you think people will shift their attention from you to them? It's fine. So you have to understand, leadership comes with, with making unpopular decisions. But I don't think leadership comes with taking other people down, like especially I'm if they're still... I'm not taking them down. If, if in one way, I'm not taking them down. Uh -huh. You see, you see, it's about publicity. So uh -huh. in, 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 in PR and publicity, sure, the scholars will tell you that there's nothing called bad publicity. Mm. There's nothing called bad power. In the social media age, there's nothing called... In fact, the worst thing that can happen in this social media age is that no one talks about you. Mm. You understand? Mm. Because whatever... So, for instance, if people can go out there and say, Pabzito is doing one, two, three, four, five, six. I know I'm smart enough to rechannel that attention mm. into something positive. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. hip-hop is about... Hip hop will always be hip hop is like soccer. There's, there'll always be comparison. There'll always be politics. Mm. There'll always be competition. And once hip hop is devoid of those things, then hip hop is it's dead. No longer hip hop. Exactly. So they must talk about you. They must talk about people. Mm -hmm. You know. They must talk about people. <laughs> they must talk about people. They must talk about them. They must talk about mm -hmm. Malibu. They must talk about King Solomon. Because mm. personally, I trust them. Remember, I never said they're not even talented. Mm. I acknowledge. Did, Super talented. Do you see yourself working with them in the future? Yeah, I'm sure if they are willing to, it will depend on, on, on the kind of arrangement and what we're trying to achieve, mm. you know, yeah. Okay, on, 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 on that, uh, the state of uh, Pedi Rap, rap address, address. Yeah. Uh, you said you the Pedi Rap Nipsey. Yes. Are you talking about Nipsey Hussle? Nipsey Hussle, yeah. Come on now. Come on, man. Nipsey. You see, Fuck. <laughs> you see Nipsey <laughs> spent so many years in the game without releasing an album. That's my guy. Yeah. That's my guy. And Nipsey was only releasing mixtapes. Yes. Right? And I've been following that blueprint. Yeah. Uh, I've never released an album. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to release an album anytime soon. And it's a strategic decision that I've taken. And people will be will know when I release an album. Right? Mm. The reason why I compared myself with Nipsey, right? Yeah. So, Nipsey is a bit of where I, Nipsey and Babzito uh, have a, a bit of juxtaposition is that Nipsey is, comes from the streets, right? Mm. And I come from the book side of things, right? Mm -hmm. So there we are very, very different. But when it comes to his mindset, business moves, yes, yeah. community work, mm -hmm. you know, um, I identify with him, mm. so that's why I said I'm the big rap Nipsey. Are you gonna sell your mixtape uh, for hundred dollars? <laughs> <laughs> no, that idea has been overdone. I'm probably gonna do something different. Have you done it before? No, no, I've never done. Mm. I've never done that. That was a good move. It was a good move. It was a good move. That and one. and and he, you know, Nipsey read reads. You know, he picked it yeah, up from, from Contagious. From that book, Contagious. Mm. It's a beautiful book. Um, never read it. Actually, I I encourage them to go and read it. Mm. 
It's a nice book. I've never read it before. King Solomon was read it. <laughs> you said that it's not me. It's not me. It's not me. No, no. no. Not just uh, King Solomon. Yeah. Tell me the other thing. You, you also said you've been accused mm. of of um, barking, rigging the Spanish award, <laughs> and uh, you were part of Illuminati. You. There's a lot of things. Eh? Let's talk. Let's first talk about the the, the award. Is it the Spain Music Award? <laughs> it's Spain Music How long award. have you been winning that award? Three years now in succession. So they started in 2018, mm -hmm. um, then 2019, and then just now recently. Mm, last uh, last year. Last month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, it, yeah. Um, then <laughs> they say I, I'm I'm buying them. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not? How do you buy awards? What they do by them? Look, we've had the stories, a lot of stories where people buy the awards. I've I've been I've been involved in awards. The, my first time involved in awards was in 2017 with the Satmas, right? Mm -hmm. It was the first time I didn't know anything about awards. Um and it was at the national level. Mm -hmm. And I did a very rigorous com campaign to end up winning, right? Mm. And I picked up that experience. I I brought it to to Speedy Music Awards, and I got in there. And um, I've got loyal f followers, you know, like people who don't mind spending on me, mm -hmm. and they they vote, you know, yeah. they vote, you know, and, and, and so that's 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 exactly what happened. I saw someone saying, uh, in fact, those awards they are made for you, as far as hip hop is concerned. Yeah, like 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 it's so it's so crazy because. Even now, like now, there's this young kid called called It's Black, right? Mm -hmm. He's he's working very hard. I was very very convinced that he was gonna win this time around because I didn't even campaign that much. Mm -hmm. But my followers was like, no no no. So <laughs> it's yours. Yeah. It's like it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you don't buy awards. How do you buy awards? I mean, you have team. You have tea. Up it, up it, up it. You have, you know, you have connections. Who, who, who? You have, you have uh, the people that are working inside. I'm sure. Well, look, um, and maybe let me respond to that because that's, that's what they, that's, that's what happened to working that uh, record label, um, uh, ambitious, ambitious, and mm. the other. I think there was Mavala Noise at some yeah, point. Yeah. Yes. So there's this thing that has been ongoing. I started Noku, Noku, Noku manages me, right? Yeah, yeah, Nook. Shout out to Nook. Yeah. He's actually the one that gave me your numbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he manages me, he does my PR, he does all of those things. Mm -hmm. He used to do PR for Speedy Music Awards, mm -hmm. but he no longer does it for them, right? Mm -hmm. So, because of that association, oh, because, thing. because I want to debunk this thing properly, because it's a conspiracy theory and people like talking about this kind of things. Mm -hmm. People thought, oh, Nuku is doing PR. And and this uh, guy is winning, and yeah. this guy's winning, therefore, and he's, he's your manager. You understand? Then mm. they did the maths, they were like, mm. it, it only makes sense, it only know? makes sense, yeah. And it's unfortunate because I hope they knew what Nuku was responsible for there. Mm. Nuku was just doing PR, mm, okay. He doesn't even know who counts the votes, how they, you know, and mm. I'm sure. And this is this is a conversation that I, I perhaps you should also have with my thoughts. Uh -huh. He's been doing a lot of work actually. Matozi, yeah. Matozi for is doing okay, another founder. What, 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 yes. Yes. Music award. And then recently he founded Nothing Cape Awards as well. Mm -hmm. uh, he's doing Fame Academy and all these things. He's doing very great work for the province. Mm. I think these questions, Chawari, because I don't think anyone will believe me if I say I don't, I don't buy awards. It doesn't mm. matter. I can give a long essay about sure. how awards work. No one will believe. No one me. will believe. So the the <laughs> best thing Gurwan will come out is Gurwan will do rickshaw. Rickshaw awards are done. Or we try to rickshaw. We can't even do it. We can't even do it. And one last thing, just to go away. It was a question. We are going to discuss about the awards. Yeah, I kind of felt like that actually. And why? And it's very interesting because. I, you know, Nuku was like, boy, I think don't campaign so that someone wins, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why I didn't actually campaign. And I was but like, Nuku, but I was like, Nuku, why? 
and then Nuku says, no, remember these people have this belief that you buy ours. Mm -hmm. And the problem with that thing is that you say that your legacy is this, you want to grow baby rap, right? Mm -hmm. But how are you going to grow it if these guys are not participating? What if these guys, what if these guys lack of participation is, is based on the fact that we're not record awards. Record awards yeah. So just don't win. Mm. I'm like, okay, let me not campaign and I wish somebody else wins. But you still won. Okay, it's black. Mm -hmm. I was actually rooting for him or are we? Mm. So now, so it's black later if he started winning, Vele Noko is responsible. Exactly. So maybe let's do this. Let's do the maths. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's do mathematics. Babuzito yeah. and it's black. And other mm -hmm. other artists, as as Rafael, remember, one of are managed by by no by no, no yes. Papzito wins, uh -huh. uh, but East Black doesn't win. Yes. Uh, how is it possible that? How is it possible that? I mean, for sure, East Black is an essential winner. Mm -hmm. If you have to follow that logic. Uh, if it's black is managed by Noko, then mm -hmm. it's black must win. Sure. Yes. <laughs> what is the uh, Mask Academy? This one, Mask Academy. <clears throat> so, Mask Academy is basically a private school mm -hmm. that is aimed that is aimed at delivering quality education in the areas of sciences, technology, engineering, and mathematics mm. for low-income houses in townships and rural areas so mm. it's a startup uh we have been operating now in uh, dendron yeah and limo uh we are expanding into Jobek, zakani this year mm -hmm. um so it's an institution that i founded um to to change how education is being delivered more high, you mm. know That's cool. i want i want I want to produce the next Steve Jobs here, the next mm. Elon Musk. Actually, it was named after Elon Musk, yeah. That's so good. coding and all those things, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So oh, that's good. We'll, we should be opening our official doors as a private school, taking full-time learners mm -hmm. in 2022. That's dope. Yeah. Now I wish you well, my brother. Yeah, no, no. I thanks, wish you well. Thanks. Now, <clears throat> nice song, Tom Pisilega. I want to ask this thing. You said, Hoshike Kana. Um, what did you say on that? Kala di namu. Kala di namu. Kala. Kala. Not kala. Mm -mm. I was thinking. Kala di namu. I was thinking you were like or a kala di namu. I'm like mm -mm. this guy. What is he talking how, about? How can you even oh, say that? Kala yeah. di namu. Ah, that's dope. And may his soul rest in peace. Ah, the shit, royal Tiratum. Yo, yeah. we lost the king there. Yeah, you did. So, uh, so one of the objectives I also have is, I want the young people to listen to Pabzito and say Hoshike Kanagma. Yeah. And they must go out there and research and learn about their kings because yeah. these people are heroes. Yeah. 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 Sure. Mm. Then we give a lot of I find. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like I, find. Sure. I find I knew him. I've, I've always known him. I've, I, I met with him in 2016 mm. through his manager then. The manager liked what I was doing. Mm. And I was like, I need to get you to meet I find. But you sound like him on that song, um, I Believe in Us. Actually, I've had a lot of people. Oh, but I just sound like him. I'm like, serious? <laughs> Yo. I was listening to that song, I'm like, ah, this guy, I'm not surprised he has a future with I found. Yeah, but but maybe subconsciously, mm. I've always looked up to him. I saw him the first time I performed my COVID, it was in 2012. No. He was just coming up. That guy, an age. Oh, oh. I've never seen something like that. I was like, oh, wow, yeah, that's dope. what is this? That's dope. And then I looked at him. Then I checked him out. Mm -hmm. He's like, this guy's an engineer. He's what? what? Then I identified with him. Mm. He's like, oh, he raps in course. I rap cause paid. He's an engineer. I'm an engineer. That's why I'm That's why his manager was like, ah, this guy, you guys will like each other. Nah, that's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Um, Rimu Palava Loi. Yeah. yeah. Deca killed uh, that song. Oh, Deca, man. Fuck. It's the one that won the award was last year. Yes. <sighs> oh, that kid is talented. Nah, he killed that, that song, man. That kid is talented. Was it the one that was saying I bought a house in Bendo? Nah, that's, me that's me there. That's me there. Hey. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's me there. No, no, Deck has uh, Deck is he's on the book. Yeah. In the first verse. Oh, the first verse, uh, yes. 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 So yes. the story of that song, Joe. So Dekha, I got to know about Dekha mm-hmm. on Koshing Yamu Pedi by the Kerata Oh. So my Pedi got a verse from me for remix. Mm-hmm. Then I was like, who did this beat? Yeah. They yeah. said it's Deck. I'm like, I'm like, this kid is talented. Too much. I was like, nah, I need to meet with him. Ah, that's dope. And then I met with him, we did the song, it was amazing. Great. Yeah, yeah. we're still gonna shoot a video for it, yeah. It's ah, coming. That's yeah. dope, you must invite me. Yeah. I'll invite you, Stan. Sure, you. man. Yeah. Yeah. Future plans, what are you working on? Music? Music, yo, I've got some nice things coming, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm working on nice features, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, so, I'll, mostly I'll be collaborating. Uh-huh. Yeah, so got something going with Kimonada. Ah, that's nice. Um, that's I'm nice. working on something, trying to, 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 I don't, don't want to give away a lot. Oh, eh? yeah, but it's a surprise. Yeah, but the thing is, this one, Kimonada, I've already put it out there, so they know mm-hmm. it's coming. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's more, there's more. They must expect, like, heavyweights, big yeah. names, guys who, have, who are there doing it, mm-hmm. that we look up to. Yeah. <laughs> that you must have beef with. Yeah, that we must have beef with, yeah. you know, the likes of your Costa, <laughs> your mama, those guys, yeah. They must expect those kind of guys. Right, yeah. man, yeah. right. Now, thanks very much for your time. I know, brother. thanks, Dane, uh, for this. I really appreciate yeah. your time. Yeah, yeah. Too, and I uh, wish you nothing but the best. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, your career, it's already booming, you know. It's, you're ah, already we're, we're struggling, man. Ah, but we'll get there. Nice. Yeah, we'll yeah, really get nice. there. Yeah. We'll get there. Now, where can people follow you? Eh, hey, mona wazara vile lagi ne Instagram eh na ina marga shukish, but kisenti te lukish. Kama kwa dalu manager, dalu manager. Yeah, no kuma fix those things. No go to it alu wa na I'm not active there. Like I forgot my password. It's been over a year. Eh hey, ve. Marista, ubari ke yelo na uwa na. Facebook ke ke active ya pabzi tu. Check pabzi tu ko Facebook. Logic Gate Music. Actually. Logic Gate Music, I'm building a platform for musicians. They're mm-hmm. gonna love it, you know, like, but what? I love the band, the instruments, right. and so on. Right. So, yeah, it's coming. Uh, this year, I'll be launching it. Uh, they should expect that as well. Mm-hmm. Because Logic Gate Music is my record company, but I don't want to, mm-hmm. be, to be a record company anymore. Mm-hmm. It's now a software company that will sure. be giving music services out there. Oh. Yeah, so it's gonna be nice. And then I have to say to, to I know a lot of guys are mad at me, but we to our trial, I want to three, four. Mm-hmm. I just want to say, guys, stretch your gun fast. Come on. No. Yeah. Hip hop, daddy. Hip hop, hip hop. Hip hop, hip hop. My squad, squad, stretch your gun. Now you're not on care room, bro. You're on this fight, but I'm going to stretch your fast. Let's work, guys. Ah, no, that's the Lisa one first time, eh? Lisa, ah, my Joe, Lisa is so oh, that guy is mm. amazing. It's amazing. I'm, yeah. I'm actually, Lisa is like one of those guys that we need more in the province the wisdom yeah. he has yeah. for young people ah, and so on he's amazing he's very smart that guy he's very smart very yeah. smart he's got a lot of wisdom yeah mm. so i love him so much yeah ladies and gentlemen this is the conversation we've done in kamu and we're out hey, okay sure sure right.